Hi, I am Luca Congedo and you are watching from JS to Remote Sensing. This is the first of a series of tutorials about the semi-automatic classification plugin for QJS that allow for the land cover classification using remote sensing images. We are going to explore the very basic tools of the plugin and we are going to create our first land cover classification. So let's get started and open QJS. Okay, so let's start with a quick overview of the semi-automatic classification plugin. First, there is the main toolbar here, containing several buttons for the main tools of the plugin. The recreation dock, which contains several tools for the creation of ROIs. The classification dock, which contains several tools for managing uh, spectral signatures and the classification of the, of the image. So, the first thing is to download the sample image. The image that you can download from this website is a subset of a lensed image uh, which contains the blue, the green and the red band and the near infrared and the short wavelength infrared 1 and 2 so you can download it from here and then you can extract the archive inside the folder you find the image that you can open in QJS you can open the image using the tool add the raster layer or simply drag in and drop the image in QJS so as you can see, this is a small subset of a Lancet image which we are using here as a generic remote sensing image. Uh, first thing we need to do is to set the input of the plugin. So we need to select this image that is loaded in the layers of the of QJS as input image in the plugin. As you can see, the list is now empty because we need we need to click the refresh list button here and now select the sample image. If we click the button band set here, we can see that actually the plugin has loaded the raster image and all the bands that are contained in the image are listed here. In the RGB list here in the toolbar uh, you can select the color composite 321 which is the true color composite or the color composite 432 which is particularly useful for uh, identifying vegetation because as you can see vegetation is displayed in red where in true colors it would be green so this is particularly useful for selecting and, and finding vegetation in the in the image uh, we can create the training shape file with this button here new shape we can select any uh, directory where we can save the shape file Okay, so this shape file is created and loaded in QJS. We can open the attribute table of this shape file and we can see that it contains already these four fields that are required for the training shape file. Also, we need to create a signature list file. We can create it by clicking the button Save in the classification doc. So here we have the signature file loaded. So now we can create our first region of interest. Uh, we can zoom in over this dark blue area, which is a lake, 
and create a, a region of interest by drawing a polygon over the image. You can click this button, create a right polygon and draw with a left click the vertices of the polygon and with a, the right click for closing the polygon with the last vertex. This is a temporary polygon that you can show and hide with this tool. This is a temporary polygon because uh, we need to save it in the training shape file here. In order to save it, we need to define the macro class ID and info and the class ID and information. So, for instance, this is uh, as macro class 1 water and as class we can simply describe what it is like. Then we can create the and save the Roy polygon by clicking Save Roy. This checkbox at signature list is uh, checked. Uh, the uh, Roy polygon will be added to the training ship file and also the signature of the polygon will be uh, calculated and added to the signature list. So we can click this button and after a few seconds you can see that the Roy polygon is here and the signature list with the same information of the Roy Polygon is created here. And uh, you can see also that in the training ship file, if we open the attribute table, there is a new polygon here which is the same as this one. So this is actually our first Roy Polygon. Now we can also create other region of interest. because we can also create ROIs using this automatic tool of region drawing activating the pointer with the button here then we click the image and after a few seconds you can see that a little polygon is automatically created over the image but we need to set a range radius which is uh, actually, the uh, definition of a threshold of uh, similarity between pixels that allows for the selection of pixels that are very similar. In fact, uh, we can here set 2000 because if we can identify the image here We can see that the sample image has values ranging from 9000 to 12000. So we need to set a range radius which is in this um, range and we can now click again and as you can see a new polygon, a bigger polygon is created. You can see that a little cross shows where you clicked and of course changing the pixel that you click changes also the segmentation and the polygon is created differently so let's say that this polygon is good for us and now we can also set the information here I need to change the macro class ID and also the information here I write built up this is actually uh, buildings here as you can see and uh, as class ID I set 2 and as class info I say buildings and now I can click save Roy the Roy is created here in the Roy list and in the signature list. Here, if we highlight this for a, for a moment and select this button Add Align Signature to Spectral, to spectral Signature Plot, we can actually see the spectral signatures here. But we are going to talk about this in other tutorials.
So, now we need to create at least another region of interest over vegetation. We can select one of these green areas here. These are green because of the color composite. If we change, you can see uh, that of course. So we can click again the recreation, automatic recreation, and click a pixel here. Then we change here the macro class ID, the macro class information, we say vegetation. Again, change class ID and vegetation also for the class information. Then we save again the region of interest. We need at least another region of interest over bare soil. Bare soil is, can be identified in the image with these colors, uh, greenish in the color composite 432. So we can click again the recreation tool and create a new region of interest. We can set with macro class ID 4 and macro class information as bare soil, class ID 4 and class information again bare soil. And we save the ROI. So now we have four regions of interest, one for the water, one for the built-up, one for the vegetation, and one for the bare soil. Now we need to change the colors here in the signature list because uh, the classification will have the colors defined here. So we select blue color for the water, a red color for the built up, a green color for the vegetation, and a yellow color for Versailles. Okay, so now we are ready for creating our first classification preview. Previews are um, very small classifications that can be uh, in a particular area of the First thing is to select the classification algorithm. Uh, we in this tutorial we are using the spectral angle mapping algorithm. Next thing is to set the size of the classification preview. Now we set the classification preview to five, 500. Then we click this button here that activates the preview pointer. Then we click over the image and after a few seconds you can see classification preview is uh, loaded in QJS. Actually it is a temporary raster that is uh, loaded inside this class temp group uh, in the layers. And you can also show and hide the preview with a click over this button. If the results are quite good, we can perform the entire classification with a click here. So we can click Perform Classification and select where to save our classification. So we save our classification here. And after a few seconds, as you can see, the semi-automatic classification plugin has a sound that informs us that the classification has finished. And the classification is here completed for the whole image. So, congratulations, we have completed our first land cover classification. Of course, there are several mistakes in this classification because, as you can see, there are particularly these greenish areas that is uh, bare soil that is classified as built up. 
So in order to improve our classification, we need to collect uh, more regions. Well, in this tutorial we have learned about the very basic use of the plugin. In the next tutorial we are going to learn about the classification of Landsat images. If you have any questions or comments, please join the Facebook group or the Google Plus community. Thank you for watching.